So today we're going to start work on our 2004 721D Grasshopper. It's got about a little over 4,000 hours on it. So we're going to go through it, clean it up, uh, fix any parts that are broken or, or need replacing, and get it ready for sale. Get all, all this underside clean and get these stabilizers on. Just get, get as much of the dirt cleaned up so then that way we can put a fresh coat of paint on it. It'll make it look real good. Probably. <laughs> He's going in to get lunch. I'm sure he found lunch on the couch. <laughs> Nothing else to do today. Well, I'm heading into the shop this morning. We're gonna continue working on our 2004 Grasshopper. We're trying to get that finalized and, and get it ready for sale. Um, hopefully we can move it out this year yet uh, and make room for another 2012 next year. Uh, yesterday was pretty busy, you know, first day back to the shop um, after the holiday, after Thanksgiving. So we had a pretty productive day. We got all the snow plows put on the trucks uh, and got those checked out and ready to go. It, you know, it's almost December, so we're looking at maybe getting some snowfall here in the next few days. I don't think it's going to amount to much, but at least we're going to have everything ready. So, like I say, we're going to get to the shop and try to finish that 2004 off today. We got a little bit more cleaning, a little bit more painting to do, and then we should be able to start putting it back together. Thank you. 
just hang on that sign. We'll lift it up and we'll show the head there. Watch your fingers. That thing will swivel around and get you. So I just left Buckeye Tractor. Uh, I just picked up the last couple of parts we need for our 2004 Grasshopper. So I'm heading into the shop right now to meet up with Dale. We're gonna go ahead and put those parts on and that'll finish that Grasshopper off and uh, it'll be ready for sale. Well, it's an exciting day here at Stu Care. Uh, after several weeks of working on our 2004 Grasshopper, we finally got it finished off thanks to help from Dale and Bill. We were able to get it all cleaned up and fixed up. So uh, what we're going to do now is just kind of give you an idea of what, what all we did to it uh, to get it to the condition it is in right now. So like I said, this is our 2004 Grasshopper 721D. We purchased it new, brand new in 2004. We've had it for eight seasons now. We've put on a little over 4,300 hours, which averages out to between five and 600 hours per season. Uh, as you can see, it just cleaned up so beautifully. Uh, what we did, starting from the front, basically we, we took the deck off, separated the A-frame from the deck, which allowed us then to clean and paint everything. You can see fresh coat of paint on everything. Rims are all cleaned up. We've got new hanging chains on the carrier assembly. So that will allow the deck to ride real nice and level, give you a, a lot of adjustment when it comes to leveling the height. We did all four chains, which then as well got new clevis pins in the back and new bolts all the way around. But you can tell, this we went over with a real, real fine tooth comb, some new anti-skid in a few locations, foot pad on the deck in a fair, few various areas for uh, getting on and off the machine safely. Uh, we put new headlights on. You can see them there. I'm just going to hit some of the major parts that we did. We got a new deck flap on both the left and right side of the back of the deck. What that does is that kind of just helps lay the grass down, helps, helps lay down those beautiful grasshopper stripes that they're known for. Uh, as we come around here, we got new hand grips with new vinyl caps on the control arms. Come back a little bit farther, you can see the, the amount of time and detail we put into this machine. A lot of fresh paint, a lot of elbow grease getting it cleaned. Put a couple new fuel filters on it, new air filter. It's up to up to date on all its scheduled maintenance. Then we come back here a little bit farther. Got all fresh paint on the rear of the frame. Fixed up the battery box. Got it real nice. 
You can see here, engine cover's in great shape. We ended up putting a new hood rear support mount and a clutch shield. Those are brand new pieces. So as you can see, we got a lot of time invested into this machine, but for having eight commercial seasons and over 4,300 hours, you put it side by side with one of our brand new hoppers, it's going to be hard to really tell the difference.